Hey, how's it going, everybody? Expat Stacker. And uh, just want to start off by saying thank you to uh, all of my subscribers. Uh, been getting a lot of new subs recently. Um, as of filming this video, just under 150, which I know is not that much for some, but for me, it's good growth for the channel. So I really do appreciate uh, everybody who subscribes and who participates by commenting on my videos and everything like that i do try to respond to every single comment that i get um maybe i <laughs> have missed a few here and there but uh i do try to um interact with people who take the time to watch my videos and uh one thing that i've uh noticed uh recently with a lot of my new um subscribers and people watching and commenting on my videos is people want to know more about stacking in korea they want to know about um you know where to get bullion from and uh you know what's it like over here and stuff so i thought it'd make a good uh interesting topic for a few videos um so i wanted to you know introduce you guys to uh what i consider to be the top five um, places to stack from in Korea to get bullion from. So uh, we'll just go ahead and get started, jump right into it with number five. Might not be a big surprise to a lot of you guys, uh, Comsco Mint. Uh, a lot of you guys are very familiar with Comsco because of their work with the Korean Tiger and the Z Sin series and other stuff. Um, I'll leave a link to all the sites that I'm gonna show. I'll leave a link in the description of this video so you can go check them out if you want to um the comsco mint does have uh english on their website and there's a lot of unique pieces of bullion that you might not um see on your typical average american um bullion dealers websites or you know wherever wherever you're um, getting your korean bullion from so there's some cool stuff over there go check it out um now we'll just go ahead and get right into number two. And I would say if you're into numismatics, this is probably the best place um, to go and to get it from. Um, unfortunately, I do not think that they have English on their website. I have been over to their uh, actual store, uh, the physical location, um, just one time, but they were very friendly, very nice. Uh, they have a lot of really interesting stuff here. Um, not only bullion but also uh other things like art <laughs> and a lot of uh, very interesting stuff um i've seen some historical pieces of bullion over here um including you know a piece of gold from the byzantine empire and they have like money from all around the world and stuff like that um I don't typically buy from this place because the price is a lot higher than um, what you might get elsewhere. Um, and by the way, the reason that Comsco isn't number one is because almost everything that they offer on their website is also available um, from almost all these places that I'm going to show. So um, moving right along, uh, number three, this is probably the most well-known and widely recognized precious metals dealer uh in korea it's called the korea gold exchange and i have talked about them and shown off some bullion from them um in some of my other videos i have some uh 100 gram and 500 gram um silver bars from them and i also have um some unique uh rounds that they produced um they work alongside the comsco mint to um, make a lot of their minted bars and rounds and stuff like that um, you can see on the back of their uh, 100 or their 10 gram bar here it's got the comsco logo so um, this they have locations all throughout the country platinum bars gold bars gold rounds so this is the round that i was talking about i have the silver version um, a lot of cool stuff here and i've been to this physical location um they have like i said locations all throughout the country i've been to this uh place as well they're very friendly again i don't think they have english on their website but um you know you can still come over and click around and see what they got here um 
they they also have a section here for silver bars so i think i showed this 100 gram bar and also have this 500 gram bar here um and this is the silver round that i showed before um they also uh sell you know premium government minted bullion from other countries like canada australian kangaroos they have american eagles they have perth mint stuff here um some of the stuff they've sold out of but they also had uh, other other stuff um from overseas so this is a good good place to go and um you know they buy and sell precious metals and uh, they also have a lot of jewelry at this place um so i wouldn't say it's like a coin store or you know exclusively a bullion dealer they they deal with jewelry they also make like um some gifts that are made of precious metals which are which are pretty cool um take a look at those right here so these are like kind of um you know uh gift cards this is like a new year's gift card and it's made of 3.75 grams of gold which is kind of the standard measurement in asia um it's not you know uh, one troy ounce um it's more measured in uh, these 3.75 gram increments which is a uh, called one done um so um yeah this is like um happy first birthday for your baby which is like a big deal here and um this is like for a parents day celebration so they have these one don gold cards here this is a gold key which is like a good luck thing um in korea so they have those for sale um it's like you know for somebody in and put on their desk in business um gold um it says emergency gold and by the way in korean um gold is gum and a lot of times when referring to money uh we say gum in in korean um like for example salary is wolgum that means like monthly gold so korea actually has a long history of um, dealing with precious metals and gold and silver um there's some interesting stuff over on the comsco mint website about it that you can read in english so here here's another really cool gift it's like a, a map of the korean peninsula um, made of gold and you can get it in different amounts one gram 3.75 grams and and more so they have these gifts these are for babies so if someone has a baby you can give this gift which is a traditional thing again they have a long cultural heritage that has to do with um precious metals storing your wealth in precious metals and um you know giving gold for somebody who has a, a new baby is a very typical thing um these are rings that you can give and um just you know the golden pig is uh, very um this is 18.75 grams here this is 11.25 grams golden pig is really also famous throughout asia as like a good luck sign of bringing wealth and 37.5 grams so that would kind of probably be like the closest increment that i would say around to one ounce so you can kind of see on the nose there it says 999 <laughs> that's funny so um this is a famous um uh, Korean uh, military figure admiral um, Lee Sun Shin uh, really cool piece right here I would love to have this someday if possible um, there's a huge statue of this guy in the capital um, just and this is a military vessel that uh, he defended the country with and just some other cultural um, you know and like gift here's a gold golf ball for example gift ideas turtle uh, has some significant meaning in asian cultures as well i think long life and you know just some interesting stuff here um so yeah this is the korea gold exchange's website and um some cool stuff here uh some stuff you guys are familiar with and some stuff that i've shown on my channel before and uh yeah just cool so go ahead and check that out if you're interested and the number two place that i would say is called uh coins today um and actually uh silver torch 66 did a video about this place um where he kind of did like a company profile for them 
and they also have their own YouTube channel, which I will also leave a link to. And um, this place is really great. I would say this is pretty much the overall best mix of um, uh, numismatic and just your standard uh, bullion. Um, they have a ton of stuff here. Again, unfortunately, I don't think they have English, but they do have employees who speak English. I've been over to their office and they do have uh, employees who speak perfect English. So if you want, you can email them and inquire about anything. If you're interested, uh, that you see on their website, they have this pretty cool, um, Mongolian 10th ounce piece. Um, you know, they have a lot of the standard, I believe actually coins today partnered with Comsco to make a lot of these pieces that people are overseas are familiar with, like the, uh, Chi Wu and the Zixin series. Um, Silver Silver Torch sixty six talks about that on his uh, video. Um, so you know about how they teamed up with Comsco. So you can go check that out. So yeah, I mean they have like a lot of stuff here, a lot of really cool stuff, and um, you know um, stuff that I haven't really seen that much um, from other stackers on on YouTube, but. And some of it I'm not really interested in. Like, I'm not interested in half gram gold cross from Palau. But, you know, um, still pretty cool stuff. Here they have, uh, yeah, 2016 one ounce gold uh, Chi Wu Chun Wang. So, really cool. Czech Lion. Um, they have Perth Mint stuff and everything from all around, all over the world. Um, and uh, really nice people. Um, really good selection really good service uh just take a quick look at some of their silver stuff that they have to offer um although the site is not fully in english i think you could probably stop by and take a look at what they got but this is a pretty cool item um i would like to try to pick one up this year it's a comsco mint um one kilogram silver bar so uh this is pretty cool um so you can see this on comsco mint's website but you can also see it on pretty much every website that i've shown so far and if you're familiar with my channel moving on to number one should come as no surprise it's going to be korea precious metals exchange um also they do not have english but i think you can pretty much um, navigate pretty well through their site um, because there is some English on this as well um, so I'll just kind of go through this uh, site and show what they have they also have physical location so first of all KP Mex is partnered with um, AppMex I believe AppMex basically partnered up with some Korean dealers here and started this company and um, here they have promotions they sell full boxes um, full monster boxes of silver so they have um, all the major you know places uh, the US mint um, the Perth mint and the Royal Canadian mint and they also have um, gold uh, 10 coin tubes there so and then here these are private sellers um, who want to sell uh, bullion uh, they can do it through this site so um, you know this is sold already but this is a 2017 um half ounce canadian maple for sale uh they have 2017 one ounce canadian maple um they have these gold bars here which are available from through uh, a local commercial bank here this is a 100 gram gold bar we'll take a look at this here real quick um there's some kind of account you can set up and when you have a certain amount of money in it then you can get this 100 gram gold bar here. Um, they also have something on the stock exchange here where you can buy in one gram of gold at a time. And once you get to 100 grams, you can exchange it for uh, physical bullion. Um, I don't do that. I just, you know, invest in stocks. And when I want to get physical bullion, I invest in that. Uh, here you'll see um, somebody is selling a uh, 100 gram gold bar from the um, Korea Gold Exchange, which I just showed you their website. Um, here's another one. Um, they got some pandas for sale. Um, 
And here, uh, private sellers of um, silver bullion. So here, here's another, um, you know, 100 gram bar. I showed this off in one of my videos before um, from the Korea Gold Exchange. So, um, you know, and so they have some slabbed coins as well. So these are private sellers. Um, I also showed this is a one kilogram uh, gold bar from another bullion dealer, which I'm not showing their website today, but it's also a really, really good, uh, well-recognized place. But uh, yeah, I mean, these are private sellers selling. And then this is what KPMX sells brand new. Um, so, you know, they verify all the bullion that they're selling for uh, private sellers. And then this is like the brand new bullion. So, you know, you got kangaroos, uh, gold kangaroos, you got gold maple leaves, you have American gold eagles, uh, the, um, the royal arms and the queen's beast and the, you know, Perth mint uh, gold dragon coin bars that I love so much. Uh, you got the maple gram, you got gold buffaloes, you got, these are sold out right now, but it looks like they're going to have some more coming soon. Um, you got Philharmonics, you got pandas, you got all the stuff that everybody's used to, plus a little bit of, you know, um, stuff that's pretty exclusive to just here in Korea, like this gold Comsco mint 10 gram bar here. Um, this is pretty cool. I think I might want to get one of these um, sometime this year as well, just to have. Um, got the gold tigers as well. Um, this is a one kilo gold bar. Um, uh, that's pretty uh, nice, but also really freaking expensive. Don't think I'll be picking one of those up anytime soon. <laughs> um, and then they got silver here. Again, it's all the you know major players that we see. They also have this... Um, Comsco one kilogram bar for sale. Uh, so, you know, maybe I'll pick it up from Coins Today. Maybe I'll pick it up from KP Max, whoever has the better deal. Um, go ahead and pick that up later on this year. And then, um, so they got all the, you know, typical, you know, 100 ounce silver bar, all the typical players here. And then down here, they have numismatics. So, um, you know, a lot of numismatic uh, coins slabbed coins and stuff like that um and then uh down here they have platinum and then down here they have supplies and usually on the weekends they also have like security storage solutions and stuff like that usually on the weekends there's like an extra section here so you have the platinum section you have the uh numismatic section you have the silver section the gold section and then usually on the weekends there's a new section that pops up where they're selling stuff that they get from appmex so it's probably like inventory overflow from appmex that they're able to sell here and they have everything way more than what you see here it's a lot more like you can get like 90 percent constitutional you can get like um, sunshine mint um 10 ounce, 100 ounce bars. Um, it's kind of different every weekend, but you know, they do have um, a lot more usually on the weekends. But um, since, you know, the world got turned upside down <laughs> in uh, earlier this year, they haven't been doing that. It probably has to do with, um, you know, shipping and, and stuff like that going back and forth from the US to Korea, probably really difficult. So I haven't seen it um, that much this year, but I'm imagining that they probably will start doing that again um, once, you know, everything calms down with that situation. All right. I uh, just want to give a shout out to uh, a new channel that subscribed to me and that I subscribe to, and that's Coin Hound. Really cool channel. Um, this channel, uh, the guy is, uh, makes great videos, really interesting topics. Um, and, uh, um, he likes to explore the connection between coins and history. And he's also very into, um, uh, naval themes and, uh, partly because he's a, um, naval veteran from the u.s so channel just got started about a month ago it looks like um but the guy's really active and has a, a lot of really interesting um content in his videos so i suggest everybody go over there and check him out and when you do let him know that expat stacker sent you over there 
and uh, if you guys have not subscribed yet to my channel then please do so uh, would really appreciate that um, let me know what you think about the uh, five bullion dealers that I showed you and um, also let me know um, if you have any uh, questions about stacking in Korea or any other questions about the five places that I showed in this video or any other ideas that you guys uh, have for videos that you'd like to see in the future about stacking here in Korea. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is the Expat Stacker. Now catch you on the flip side.